Not bad. Time for water. There should be some here. Hmm. In a plastic bottle? I wonder what it's made of. Hmm. What the hell? Hit the like, click the bell as well. You might be wondering why there is ball shrinker in my water. That is because the bottle is made of plastic. Plastics are used everywhere and we can find them in our food, in the sea and even in human placentas. These plastics alone can't do much harm. Unless there are pollutants in your water. This study shows that water bioreactors that clean our drinking water are inadequate at removing 17 alpha etin estradiol or EE2 for short which is found in almost all contraceptives. EE2 is the most potent synthetic estrogen. Now the problem arises when EE2 comes in contact with microplastics. What happens is that the EE2 gets transported via the plastics into your body. Don't believe me? Let's take a deep dive in this study. Share this video to spread the word. In this very recent study, Wang et al. exposed male marine medakas to EE2 doses found in rivers they normally live in, which is around 20 nanograms per liter. They either did this alone or with exposure to different concentrations of microplastics, ranging from 2, 20, and 200 micrograms. The measured changes were in the weight and size, sex hormones, expressions of estrogen response genes, and histological, meaning they looked at the cells under a microscope, characteristics of the testes and liver. This is the first study to expose the effects of microplastics on endocrine disruption in organisms. I will spare you the methods, you can look those up if you want, but you are probably here for the results. First off, no fish died during the experiment. They observed that the longer the fish were exposed, the more accumulation there was of microplastics in the body, which is very logical. Liver and the testes did not change with only EE2 exposure, but when co-exposed with microplastics, the body length, liver size and testes size all decreased. Here we can see the tables, where an inverse relation is seen with microplastics and body size. The more microplastics, the smaller the body. In this table, you can clearly see that more plastics means smaller balls for these fish. That's why there is ball shrinker in my water. Now I can hear the people already say that, oh no, that's not too bad, it's only a few percent, what does it matter? The hormones are probably fine. This could not be further from the truth. Here in this table, Wang et al. shows that the concentration of E2, the active form of estrogen, is highly correlated with the exposure to plastics. So more plastics means higher active estrogen. Also, the testosterone of these fish got lower. The higher the dose, the lower the testosterone. Interestingly, the highest dose of plastic, 200 micrograms, showed a higher T concentration than the medium dose of 20 micrograms. This could be because of the body trying to reduce aromatization of testosterone to estrogen. Because normally, your testosterone, if it's not used for its purpose, gets converted to estrogen. This is also why some bodybuilders who use a lot of testosterone get gynecomastia, meaning man boobs, because their testosterone gets switched to estrogen. So it could be because there's so much estrogen that this process of aromatization is um, dampered. There's a break on top of it because there's so much estrogen already, as you can see in this table. The ratio is still very, very high, meaning that there's so much estrogen for like one molecule of testosterone. The higher the ratio, the less testosterone. Oh, but Kiram, that's just hormones. The body is strong and can handle it. It doesn't matter. I can drink my Soylent and eat from plastic packaging. I wish I could be this careless again because the liver and the testes of the fish were examined under the microscope and the results were not pretty. The livers of these fish showed very concerning differences when exposed to EE2. Normally liver cells are hexagonal formed. Cells lost their normal shape, they shrunk and became more rounded. When mixed with microplastics, the liver cells had vacuolation, 
meaning air got trapped inside of them. Some liver cells even had nuclei that grew in size, which can be an indication of early stage cancer. The white arrow points to the lymphocytic aggregation, meaning immune cells clustered in the liver. Could the plastics be attacked by the immune system? Most likely, because they do not belong in your body. So the liver also showed a dose-dependent damage profile. What about the balls? Normally, in the testis, there's order. Sperm cells are made on the periphery, as seen here in A. They start around SG, as spermatogonia, and they develop towards uh, the SZ arrow, where they eventually finish as finished sperm cells. So it's very ordered. This is how the balls look under a microscope when exposed to EE2 of 20 microgram. There's some disorder, and you can see that the interstitial tissue got thicker. There's reduction also in mature sperm cells. Well, you can guess what happened when the microplastics got added in. The testes got even more disordered and less mature sperm cells were made. There were bigger cavities formed and the cells were arranged in a looser way. So it was almost like the balls were shrinking in the amount of cells they were producing and the way the cells were put inside of their place was messed up. In summary, these fish got exposed to plastics and estrogen which is also found in our water, and their balls shrunk. This research is the first of many that will shed light on how damaging our way of living is for us humans right now. And is it any wonder that most young men are soy boys who have no motivation? They are little boys because their testosterone is reduced constantly. We should not look down on our brothers with low T, for they are victims of this crushing machine. Subscribe for more content like this. In short, this study shows that microplastics have a huge impact on your endocrine system and they can shrink your balls. These estrogens are everywhere and the only way to protect ourselves is to decrease the amount of microplastics we expose ourselves to. That's why I would recommend using a stainless steel bottle. It's an easy way to protect yourself from getting too many microplastics in your body. This way, you can throw out your ball shrinker bottles that are still stuck somewhere in your room. Thank you for watching this episode of Mortal Medicine. Remember to lift heavy weights and live your best life.